Hi everyone, this is Germán, I am Rocío's husband, I am so happy to record this intro for everyone. This is her first holiday makeup tutorial, if you like it, I invite you to keep on watching. Hey guys, let's get started. So as you know, we must begin by prepping our face. I will be using the Stila One Step Correct Primer and the Urban Decay Eyelid Primer. Let's start doing our eyes. Grab a full coverage concealer. You can use your fingers or a brush. Make sure you cover your entire eyelid from top to bottom. For my crease, I will be using this fluffy brush and this beautiful cool toned taupey brown from this palette. I will add it a little bit above my crease and blend away. I am taking my time and blending over and over again. You can keep adding the color to your crease until you are happy with the way it looks. I am using this domed brush and I will dip it in a darker brown shadow. This is going to deepen my crease. Use a matte cream or off-white colored shadow on your blending brush and this is going to help clean up the eyeshadow that you have and blend it way better. I grabbed yet another blending brush and I am adding some of the dark brown shadow because I took some away when I was blending the edges previously. The next color I'm going to use is this sort of metallic looking bronzy shadow and I am placing it with this flat brush on my lid. I'm also trying to place it a little bit above my crease. To make this shadow look even more metallic, I am adding a little bit of water to the brush and I grabbed some more of the shadow and again I am putting it on the lid. As you can see, it looks a lot more metallic than it did before. I decided to add some of the brown shadow to my crease once more. This is going to deepen the crease and make my eye look bigger. And of course, as you know, I have to blend that. With a new brush, I am adding some matte black eyeshadow to my crease. Yes, I want to deepen it even more. Once you add that black shadow, you will blend that away. The black shadow is very pigmented, so my brush got very dirty. So if that happens, you can grab a new brush and start blending. And that's why I had to grab this massive brush. I decided to add some more of that metallic shadow to my eyelid. This is just going to punch up the color and make it look nicer and more metallic. I am done adding shadows, so now I'm just going to clean some of the mess I made on my eye. I am using this eyeliner from Tarte Cosmetics and I will also be using a brush from Tarte Cosmetics. I will begin placing the eyeliner in the center of my eye very slowly, smoothly, and in a thin line. And then I will be adding some more to the inner part of the eye and the outer part of the eye before I begin drawing my wing. You have to be very soft 
and draw small strokes, otherwise this can mess up very quickly. Don't be scared because it's just makeup. Try again if you have to. The next step is to add black eyeliner in between the eyelashes and the top waterline. This is going to make your eye look a lot more polished. Time for false lashes, but I will be doing that off camera. Before applying foundation, I'm going to add some of the eye primer under my eyes. This is because I'm going to add some eyeshadows under there. However, I'm not doing that yet. As foundation, I am going to use this cream from Caretas Professional Makeup. This is a company from Colombia in South America. I will be using the lightest color with this sponge. This foundation is full coverage and to be honest, a bit drying. My face is already dry, but I really like it, so that's why I decided to use it. As you will notice, the color is actually too light for my skin tone. It's the color that I used before, but somehow I am more tan now. I recommend that you do not use a foundation that is not the color of your skin. However, if you don't have another option, just work with it. I also ended up adding a color that's a bit darker, a tone darker, so it helped a little bit. You will see in a second. With this sponge, you have to really stipple it in and Press the foundation onto your skin so that it does not look unnatural. Yes, I know I look like a geisha right now, but bear with me. It'll look good in the end. This is where I begin adding the darker shade of foundation. For concealer, I will also be using Caretas Makeup. I am also using the same sponge and I am softly applying it under my eyes. Remember to stipple it and press it onto your skin. Set your concealer so that it does not crease under your eye. I will be using this NYX Highlight and Contour Palette with this small brush and I am just applying the yellow powder under my eyes and I'm going to also do it on my forehead, on my nose, on my chin, around my mouth, and above the jawbone. For the shadows on my lower lash line, I will be using the original taupey brown shadow. After blending this, I will be adding the darker brown and it's going to be in a thinner brush like this one and I'm just going to add that color to the base of the lower lashes. I also want to add a highlight to my inner corner so I used this highlight color from the NYX palette. For my brows, I will be using a spoolie brush to brush them up and tame them. The next step is to use the eyebrow wax from this brow palette and apply it to my brows so that they stay down when I apply the powder. For the brow color, I will be using this eyebrow brush and the brown color that I showed you earlier. I will just be drawing in small strokes that sort of look like hair.
once you've filled in the majority of the brow, take your spoolie brush and brush the eyebrow. This is going to show you if there's any gaps and you can keep filling it in until you are content. I am going to get some concealer and a small brush and place that concealer on top of my brow line. This is going to help polish the brow and if you missed any spots with the foundation, this is going to help. To bronze and contour, I will be using the NYX palette. I will be using the coolest tone and with the huge blending brush, placing it in the hollows of my cheek. Then I'm going to use this face brush and blend it out so that it looks more natural. You can add some of that color to the sides of your forehead and blend it out with a fluffy brush. You can also add it around the rest of your forehead. You can contour your nose with a different fluffy brush and blend it out as much as possible. You can also add the color to your cupid's bow and to your jawline. Bring it down to your neck and blend everything away. To highlight my face, I'm going to be using BH Cosmetics, the Carly Bible palette. And with this beautiful highlighter, I will be using my finger and placing it on the tops of my cheeks. This is going to give you a nice hydrated look. You can also add it to the center of your nose and your cupid's bow. Finish your look with a festive lip color.